So here's what I'm realizing in my life. A lot of times I'm not deciding between a lie and the truth. A lot of times I'm stuck between two truths. One is the truth of my situation, and one is the truth of my revelation. I told you, Holly, this was going to be the best one. One is the truth of what I'm going through, and the other is the truth of who's standing with me in the fire as I go through it. So I've got two truths. I've got two truths. And what Jesus said was, was so powerful. When, when the enemy tried to get him to turn the stones into bread, he said it is written because he knew the temptation to turn something into something that it's not. A lot of times we try to do this with relationships. We try to turn them into something that they're not. We, we turn people into our God, and, and we need their approval more than we need God's approval. And then when they disappoint us, we lose our hope because we tried to turn stones into bread. You know, some of us try to turn money into security, but your trust was never supposed to be in resources. Your trust was supposed to be in the one your help comes from, the source. You were supposed to lift your eyes to him. Your trust was never supposed to be in the stuff. Your trust was supposed to be in the source. But when you don't know the truth of who you are, you will try to turn stones into bread, and you will try to live off of people's compliments, and then so you die by their criticism because you tried to turn it into what it was not. And you trade the truth for a lie. And you trade the truth of God's, God's assessment of you for someone else's opinion of you. Serving created things rather than the Creator who is forever blessed. Amen.